What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a world of better magic. Guys, we got another sponsored Core 21 collector box. A little bit different this time. We've got it sponsored by two people. Um, Sterling and Yala. So I've actually been pronouncing this young woman, this young lady's name, for like the last four videos or so that she's been in. It is Yala. So thank you for sponsoring in, guys. Um, engaged couple here so take a second let them know in the comments congratulations guys pretty awesome we're going to get this opened up it's always nice having uh, some family people sponsor together and do some stuff it's really cool and get this open here a little mix up Sterling, I'm going to go ahead and let you know, if you get the better pulls out of this, you might want to uh, give some stuff back, because you don't want to start that. You want to let her win. Just a little bit of advice. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All right. We're just going to go back and forth. We'll do one pack each, just to see how it goes. We're going to start off with... Uh, Sterling here. It's a thrill of possibilities. Alright. Swamp. And starting us off with a Necromentia for Sterling. Foil Transmorgify. A foil temple. It's not how you want to start out. Bastard's Lieutenant. Foil Liliana Stewart, and what do we got? Oh, oh wow, wow, that is a start. Strong, or okay, I'm tongue tied, guys. That is a really strong start. Pack one, a beautiful looking Ugin, a spirit dragon. Wow, that is really nice. Solid pull. Wow, that's really nice. Okay, let me grab. Bear with me, guys. We don't want to take any chances here. We start hitting their big money stuff. We got to throw a sleeve on it for you. Pack one. Pulling some serious money. There we go. Really nice solid pull. Starting off strong. For starting... Y'all, I don't know if you can top that. That's going to be... You're going to have to pull something big to top that in your first pack. You need a, like a Liliana or something. I don't even, I'm not sure what Grim Tudor's going for now. Really strong start. Pack one. Coming out swinging. We got a forest. An animal sanctuary. Uh, foil Terror of the Peaks, not a bad pull. A foil Veto, definitely a fun card. An Acolyte, a Cultivate, another good pull. Not a bad pack either. With an extended Scavenging Ooze, not bad at all. A little bit of value going on here. We got a foil uh, Teferi's Ageless Insight and. Not well, the, the Angel. Beautiful angel token in the back. I usually do the tokens first, so it threw me off. All right, so not bad for Yala here. Back to my man Sterling. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and move the token so I don't do the same thing. So you got a knight and a zombie token. That pack one though, guys, that was that was a insane pull. Right, you got a Spark Hunter Master Core with <laughs> Alright, you got another nice chromatic ori. Really nice pull. Box topper. And another box topper maze mind. Alright. 
They're really coming out strong here. Gonna have some making up to do at home. And the foil tubage. All right. Go ahead and get these. Also placed in some sleeves here, box toppers. Give me just a second, guys. I'm not gonna take a chance on messing up somebody's big pulls and stuff, you know. I'm not sure what some of the value is on these uh, little ones, but they are box toppers and we're not gonna take that chance. All right, pack two. The Yala here. Let's see if we can't spice it up a little bit. We got a demon token and a bird. All right, move past these to your land. Got a plains. Starting off with a brash toner, extended art, a foil pursued whale, a foil necromentia, the old magmut, Liliana steward, and a solemn. All right, not bad. Extended art, a foil magmut, and a foil Liliana steward. All right. Going back over to Sterling. This one, can you see the roller marks on that thing is marks all over that token. I mean, it is just a token, but still. Two or three separate lines and scratches on that thing. The other side don't have anything, but still, that's, that's pretty terrible. Grasp of darkness. Alright. Starting us off. And that one also, if you can see it. Here, I'll try to, There we go. If you can see these lines. Guys, they have got to get this fixed. It's ridiculous. I'm going to check the that Ugin here in a second, just to be sure. Nothing stood out a second ago. Right, you got a temple of... Uh, uh, a foil maze mind. Foil fabled passage. Gorehorn, Solidarity, and all right, uh, Harbinger. Moving on, a foil Gorehorn. And what are you finishing with? Another box topper. All right, you're gonna have to take it easy on her. All right, she's about to call this whole thing off. You're gonna have to rearrange some of these cards when you get back or when they get to you. This, this ain't gonna work out for her. She's had enough of this. Alright, moving on, let me, while, while we're talking about it here, let me go back a few, I want to check on that Ugin, just curious guys, sorry this video might take a little longer than it should, but I really want to just double check, okay, I don't see anything on, sorry I've got that up there, I don't see anything on this one, front or back, little off centered but not bad really really beautiful Ugin. all right back over to yala another marked up demon token lines all over it absolutely ridiculous and the old zombie token Darkness off of the forest. It will pursued well in the extended arc. A foil brash toner. A box topper uh, ghostly pilfer with a little, I don't know if you can see it, top corner right there. I don't, know if that, I don't think. I think that's just a print error. It's not like a damage or anything. And it's actually, let me look at the back. Yeah, it is. Look at that, guys. The centering on that. 
So you got a miscut and a uh, kind of a misprint. It's on this, the same corner. I'm gonna flip it over that way just so you can kind of tell. Both corners, so you got a misprint and a miscut. So uh, yeah, you might be able to get a little bit of extra value out of that if you wanna to try to flip it in one of the, uh, one of those groups. People like to collect this kind of thing. So if that's something you're into, Gorehorn, Containment Priest, not bad. How's the printing on this one? Okay, it's not too bad. And a Liliana's Devotee to finish this off. Yeah, that could be a little bit of value for you there, Yala. Going back to Sterling. The old cat token with the roller mark. And the dog, a friendly looking dog. Kind of friendly. Just not sure. Carrying some arrows and blades on him, so. Be careful. All right, to Fairy's Island, starting us off. The old ruined halo. Extended art. See the truth foil. A uh, shackle geist. A nut. Guys, most of the. It's ridiculous. It's really starting to bother me. Like, for real. I don't know if you can see it, it's always, you get the print line right down the middle, and on this one, the first one I've seen, it's had two additional print lines over here on the side, but a lot of the other ones have had this same exact little scratch looking line right through the first letter at an angle. You can go back through some of my other videos and match it. It's something with their printing and their rollers, I don't know what's going on, but very noticeable see how the back looks and it is also really off-centered really off-centered all right moving on we got an uprising I'm, this video is going really long for 12 packs it's going on pretty long all right we got a standard bear foil acolyte and a foil uprising I think this is around two bucks right now a showcase foil not bad for a new uh, uncommon moving over guys if I haven't said it yet I honestly don't remember make sure you like comment subscribe uh, we're still working on one of our giveaways that we got to do um, in our members in our group so make sure you check that out share the share the page any friends family you know whoever plays magic get some more people involved we only need maybe 15 members in our group and we're giving this away to somebody we already reached our mark for uh, YouTube I'm just trying to give it you know a few more days to get everybody to comment on it for to enter into the giveaway but uh, check it out guys and again the roller marks all over this stuff the old beast token. All right, you got your starting off with a mountain. I don't see. Has I got a mark on it? Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. A few scratches right here in the center. Same thing. Very light, but it is there. All right, starting off with an extended snoop. A foil rata. Heart of Killed. Temple of Silence. Not bad. Beautiful looking uh, card. Not a whole lot of value. With the same same roller mark, guys. Right here in the corner coming down at an angle. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's not real heavy, but it is there. And again, off-centered. Really bad. I know that stuff takes up time pointing it out, guys, but I don't want y'all to receive something from me and think I just, you know, drug these things across the concrete before I shipped them to you or something. I had a Mythic. and got a Battery Cat. Not bad. Showcase. Foil Protégé and a Battery's Acolyte. All right. 
Move them back over. Got you a cat and the friendly little puppy there. Swamp. All right. Got our showcase mountain. And I understand that Azusa. Really great card. Really great card. Foil uh, Lieutenant. And another box topper. Glorious Anthem with the same thing, guys. That same corner little scratch. And I'm just, yeah, you can look at it until it's as well off centered. All right, moving on to Fairy's Pride of Jay, Liliana Stewart, and an extended Bass Kit. Not bad. Not bad at all. To Fairy's Pride of Jay and finishing off with a Solidarity. All right. Let's see here. Couple packs left. Three roller mark cat and a beast token with a little, uh, you can kind of see it right there by its ear. Just a little indent there. Reed. Nice looking forest. Starting us off. Idle endurance for your extended art. You got a foil primal might, foil double vision, a praline, gore horn, and need some money, an extended grim tutor. Not bad at all. Uh, I think it's still around 20 bucks, I want to say. I haven't checked since yesterday. I know the market's kind of crazy with this stuff right now. I'm guessing it's around 20 bucks. Not a bad card, though. That's the, that one's not bad either. Solidarity. And, uh, oh, here it is. And a foil Liliana. Not a bad pull at all. Not the extended, but you do have a foil showcase. Really nice pull. So not bad. It's definitely evened out a little bit. Back over to Sterling. Treasure token, no goblin wizard. All right, last pack for Sterling. Let's see what we can finish with. We got our swamp. Uh, the old diplomat there, extended art. A foil snoop. A foil ageless insight. Good card. The fairy's prodigy. Gore horn. And an extended Liliana. Really good box, guys. Both of them got Liliana. You got a foil one, and then you got an extended art. It's been a really good box. Really happy with this one. You got a Chandra's Magma and a foil Containment Priest. I don't see any kind of marks on this one. Let's check the. And it's not bad. The centering's not bad, especially compared to the other ones. All right. Definitely wasn't a bad pack there for Sterling. Finishing on the soft. Let's see what we can go with here, guys. Got the old foil wizard, or the weird token, the you know, pirate. Blood and Glutton. Got the Fairies Island here. Let's see how we can finish, guys. Niambi, a Steam Speaker for your extended art. A Foil Heroic Intervention. A Box Topper Double Vision. And, of course, the scratch mark there. I don't know if you... Yep, there it is.
All right, moving on. Liliana's Devotee, a Magmut, another Ageless Insight. Got a Foil Gorehorn and finishing us off with a Foil Magmut. Definitely wasn't a bad box at all. Really happy with the outcome of that. Uh, real quick, just something different. So I'm gonna roll a dice, one through 10, we'll go with Sterling. 11 through 20, we'll go with Yalith. Bear with me, hopefully y'all can, I only gotta do this once. All right, we got a nine. Going to Sterling. We're gonna give you one of these. I don't know it's Japanese. I don't know if y'all actually care or want these at all. Mix them up just a little bit. We're gonna go with this one. So, Sterling, you already had some really, really good stuff happening, all right? You won this, but I'm gonna give you a piece of advice before you get married. You might wanna give this to her when it gets to you. Just saying. Do with uh, what you please. Just a little friendly marriage advice. I actually went on 10 years myself this year. It's a lot. It's been a crazy ride for sure. I don't know how on earth she put up with me, but she has. So of course you got the cocoon. These have been going for like 20 to 30 bucks a pack. So if you don't want to trade them in or something, you know, a little extra value. And another cocoon with the Mecha Godzilla non foil finishing us off with the foil cocoon. All right, so definitely not a whole lot going on with that one. But I do, I think the, uh, the old Mecha Godzilla is still going like 15 bucks maybe somewhere around there. I'm not sure. I haven't checked in a while. But either way, I hope you're happy with this, guys. Thanks for sponsoring into this box. It, I love doing stuff, you know, for, you know, a family that goes against each other with this kind of stuff. It's just really cool to see. Um, thanks, guys. Um, we have another collector box we're probably going to be doing later today, maybe two. I don't know. We've got a few more uh, promo packs and stuff we're doing, giving away with those. Guys, uh, again, I can't say enough thanks for all the support you've given me. Stay safe, and I will catch you later.